first of all, Zalman takes place in the middle of a desert. <laughs> and when you're sitting at the theater in Santa Fe and you can see the desert around you, you will be immersed in this place. There's no amplification. This is, you know, a hundred something orchestra players and some big voices in some incredibly exciting music. I've sung Johanna on two other times. Um, and it's just one of the most incredible roles in the bass baritone repertoire. Um, it's short, but very intense. Uh, and there's a lot of different angles you can take. One thing I find that I, I really care about in almost every opera that I really love is the way a great composer can draw humanity out of the darkest people in the darkest moments. We sort of think of John the Baptist as like, you know, he's, he's a disciple and he's devout, but in this setting of him. He has a lot of conflicting emotions. He has maybe, it's possible to read that there's desire in there for Zalame and that he sort of becomes obsessed with her and um, in the way that she also becomes obsessed with him. You, know, you go to somewhere like Santa Fe and you see that these summer festivals especially have some really exciting new productions, exciting, exciting new singers that are not just putting on the same old thing that we've been seeing for, you know, a couple hundred years. Like these are artists who are pushing the envelope of what we can do. You know, I know I've been moved in opera performances in ways that, and moving is not even quite, being moved isn't quite the right vocabulary for it, but gain, gaining some understanding about, um, you know, yourself or humanity. And I think a piece like Salome, which is really s such an interesting look at what it's like to be human, the good and the bad. Um, you know, I hope that people kind of have an experience that will stay with them forever. Oh,